Welcome to the rocket profile of the Soyuz U, the most launched orbital rocket ever. The Soyuz U is a part of the R7 family, which means it has a core first stage powered by a variant of the RD-108 engine, in this case the RD-118, and four distinctive boosters, each powered by a variant of the RD-107, in this case the RD-117. The R7 family started with the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile, and then further variants launched Sputnik, the world's first satellite, and launched Yuri Gagarin, the first person in space. The main functional difference between this rocket and the one that launched Sputnik is that it has a second stage, the Block I, and its core stage burns for a shorter duration. The boosters, first stage and second stage, all use kerosene and oxygen. The RD-117s provide 1,021.3 kN each for 118 seconds, compared to Sputnik's 1,000 kN for 120 seconds. The vacuum specific impulse for the boosters is 319 seconds. The core first stage, also known as Block A, has its RD-118 burning for 4 minutes and 50 seconds at a thrust of 990.2 kN, and it has a 319 second vacuum ISP. In addition to the main engines, the R7 type launchers have 4 verniers on the core stage and 2 verniers on each of the boosters. The Soyuz U was first launched in 1973 and one of its early missions was to launch the Soyuz spacecraft to meet with Apollo in the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975. It has since launched the Soyuz spacecraft and the Progress resupply craft frequently over the course of more than 40 years. In 1979 it flew a record 47 times, almost once a week, and has so far launched 784 times with 764 successes a 97.4% success rate. The second stage of the Soyuz U hot stages is known as the Block I and uses an RD-0110 as well as vernier thrusters. It provides a thrust of 297.9 kN for four and a half minutes, has a vacuum efficiency of 325 seconds specific impulse. The capacity to lower orbit for Soyuz U is 6.9 tons when launched from Baikonur, it can make use of optional hypergolic third stages, the frigate or the ICAR, but these are not basic to the design. The final crewed mission for Soyuz U was the Soyuz TM-34 mission in 2002. It was replaced by the Soyuz FG launcher, which carried the Soyuz TMA series spacecraft. Production of the Soyuz U rockets has stopped as Soyuz 2 will replace it for cargo missions. The last launch of Soyuz U will carry a Progress cargo craft to the International Space Station in 2017. Its retirement will not be the end of the R7 family, but Soyuz U's records will mark it as the pinnacle variant of Sergei Korolev's original design for decades to come. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Soyuz U.